What's up? Welcome in. We're live. Welcome to Granny Gamer 71. Oops, I'm going to unmute myself in the uh, Discord. And um, here we are. Happy Monday uh, here in the United States. And uh, if you are here with me now live, thank you so much for being here. If you are checking out this uh, video post stream, either here on Twitch as a VOD or at Granny Gamer 71's YouTube channel. Thank you so much for uh, your support there. Um, we have a lot of content on YouTube now. And actually, I'm starting to go live more frequently on YouTube. Twitch. Hear that, Twitch? <laughs> um, but I still am, am rock solid, you know, Twitch streamer here uh, dedicated to uh, streaming live on Twitch. Um, Monday and Friday, I think, is going to be the Twitch days. And middle of the week, probably Wednesday, Thursday on YouTube. Um, definitely Thursday. In fact, definitely this Thursday. Um, what day is that? Whatever date this Thursday is, um, we will um, be live streaming on YouTube. And it's going to... Uh, it's going to be me uh, playing some Dark Souls, playing a Soulsborne game for the first time, <laughs> but uh, being kind of walked through uh, the first playthrough um, from probably step one with uh, by Kindled. Uh, Kindled again, who is a community member and a uh, Souls daddy. <laughs> a uh, Soulsborne um, player, you know, they've been, they've been playing the Soulsborne games for a long time. Um, they're adept at them. They know the mechanics and the gameplay and ways to, um, you know, ways to uh, win <laughs> and not, uh, not get held back by the fact that they're quote unquote, uh, some of the more challenging games out there, right? That's what I hear anyway, is that Soulsborne games are difficult, you know, but um, I think that Kindled, again, was uh, basically his uh, main point in doing this is to show that uh, the game is very fair and in terms of... Uh, the difficulty level it's just you need to pay attention to certain things so we'll we'll learn a few things uh, this thursday like i said um i think that's the eighth no not, not the eighth uh 13th 14th 15th my bad um thursday the 15th uh probably around this time start time 5 p.m maybe eastern uh usa time at uh my youtube channel um but meanwhile here we are, <laughs> and uh, feel free to, by the way, to use the channel point redemption, Granny G channel points, and uh, the sound alert panel. I think they're all free at this point. <laughs> None of them are for bits. Well, channel points aren't for bits anyway, but we got some great 80s sound alerts and all that fun, fun stuff. Um, so... Uh, we are kind of waiting for Kindle to hop in today because he was going to join me in my um, conversation about AI. So um, I'm going to wait a couple more minutes before I get into it. Maybe I'll send him a message. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is going to be the backdrop, my Xbox uh, homepage. So... Hope you don't mind. <laughs> um, okay. Into the voice. All right, cool. So while we're waiting for Kindled, um, yeah, so we're kind of, I've been basically this month kind of uh, gearing up for um, my two-year technical uh, stream anniversary here on Twitch. Um, I started live streaming games 
July, it may have been the 18th, but July 17th, I think was the first time I went live, uh, which is my, was my 50th birthday two years ago. So, um, kind of a, a dual celebration to your anniversary slash my birthday and just celebrating being a Gen X streamer in the gaming world, in the live streaming world. Um, in general, celebrating with y'all. And um, yeah, so this month we debuted Granny Owl, a VTube or PNG tuber, um, created by Fantas Arts, who is a fantastic artist. I'm going to give her a shout out, Fantas underscore arts. Um, please give her a follow and check out her streams. Somebody help me. She does art and gaming. Oh. She has clips already. She's a new streamer, but she's been okay. plugging away. Uh, and I'm no stranger, but a floating cloud of mist is just no. No, 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 no. But I actually have to be right back. So give me one. <laughs> but that is her PNG tuber that she um she drew and created for herself that you just saw. Um, if you've watched any of my streams lately, um, you'll see the Granny Owl that um, the PNG tube or VTube character that I've been uh, beginning to stream with this month. So, um, yeah. And the other thing is uh, uh, collaborations. Um, that is this month and into next month we're... Uh, I'm hoping to have more collaborations on stream, uh, whether it's just chatting or gaming. Um, like I said, the Dark Souls remastered will be, that'll be on YouTube probably um, mainly. And then we'll probably, um, I'll probably do For the King a co-op stream with um, Swook and uh, Crooked, Crooked Hat Cafe. So that's getting rolling as well. Um, whoop. Good luck with that Lickitung in chat. You're catching Pokemon. Meanwhile, while we're waiting, I'll do it myself. Pokey catch. Let's see what happens. Um, but yeah, so these are all things uh, happening on Granny Gamer 71 right now as we head into... Um, july and my second anniversary on twitch and my birthday so more collabs and the granny owl vtuber and just a whole bunch of different games that are strategic art uh strategy based and rpg based that i find enjoyable so i've been i've been downloading a lot of games lately <laughs> um we have trigger witch here on deck um, which I was going to hop into. Oop. Kindled, what's up? Welcome in. Um, how are you? <laughs> I was hoping you could join in the, uh, in the Discord. The, the live stream voice. Maybe. That would, that would help get the, uh, get the conversation. Okay. Ugh. Conversation rolling a bit. I just wanted to... I don't know, just have a conversation. See if anyone wants to hop in. Um, I'm very much a, a interactive streamer, and so I don't want to have a podcast. This is a conversation. Oh. Uh, okay, I see Gen X Banana. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, can we hear him, though? Oh. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out which which thing to turn off. Just a second. Okay. Uh, also, let me look at my Discord. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can definitely hear you. I uh, I think I think I need to adjust something real quick in my settings because I hear you through my PC and not my. Well, I, yeah, I turned off the sound from Twitch and only have the sound on from Discord. I think that's probably uh, what you want too. Although I'm not. Uh, no, I think I think we're good. Yeah. I can hear Super you through my headphones. Positive. 
but um so we were i had an i had an idea about ai uh i mean i suppose that's that's what we were yeah. talking about right yep all right so how long have you been streaming how long have been stream have i been streaming like period yeah, how long have you i been was just talking about the stream a couple of years right? yeah july will be my technical i mean really i didn't get rolling until fall of two years ago but almost two years and yeah. pretty consistent right yes yeah, so, and as I was saying earlier, I hope I'm not embarrassing you, but you have a voice good enough for radio. You definitely have uh, <laughs> the right delivery for this kind of platform. Thanks. And yet, we don't have a ton of people watching this, which leads me to wonder why not. I've watched a bunch of your content, and it's engaging and fun, so... It's not the content, it's not your voice, it's, I don't know what it is, but I mean, we could ask yeah. ChatGPT4, what are the most popular um, streaming content? I mean, I'm guessing number one is that you're 23 years old with big boobs and you do whatever. <laughs> um, and after that are things like politics, or I follow a guy called... Um, uh, 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 I'm blanking on it. Chase the Bro. So Chase the Bro is a young guy who's just been streaming Dark Souls content live five days a week for two to four hours a day for four years. And uh -huh. he's got and he's amazing at it too, <laughs> which helps. And yeah. he's got a huge following. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing which I watch a lot of that I know people like is just reactions, right? Like um MXR plays and Potastic Panda. A lot of what they do is just they go through Reddit and get a bunch of clips and then play them. You know, they curate fun stuff for the day. So, and that's right. Like they re they react to to things. They like, react to they go to their favorite subreddits and get a bunch of you know funny or um, I mean they're fairly vanilla and don't want to be monetized. So they get some clips that are like right on the edge of racy but don't cross the line. Yeah. Um, or they blur it or cut Ashley, it. Ashley, what's up? Welcome in. Sorry. Um, Ashley, good morning. I, just, I messaged Ash that we were chatting. So, yeah. And so, she wanted to hop okay. In. So, I'm going to go into Chat GPT. And it, it is only, it only knows up to t late 2021. So, it's going to be out of date. I'm just going to ask give me the top 10 most popular streaming 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 categories uh exclude adult content let me look at your uh can you hear everything okay ash <clears throat> yeah you're all the way up so that should be fine okay adult yeah i mean right, it depends so on, on the... it's giving me all the disclaimers it depends on the platform too Oh, that, yes, I didn't think of that. Do you know what I mean? It varies from platform to platform. Half and half, Ash? What do you mean? You're, old, you're like doing mezza mezza? <laughs> How, like, you're good? Oh, wow. Okay, you just, Kindle just put it in there. Okay. Uh, that's long. Ugh. Uh, well, I'm going to say it out loud and okay. just putting it in there in case just for pos posterity. Oh, gotcha. Or... Okay. Do these actually get archived? I don't even yeah. know. I can choose to unpublish it, but yes. <laughs> I can do what I want with it. Well, there, I mean, there's nothing objectionable in yeah. here. Yeah. So, ironically, uh, Kindled, a.k.a. Gen X Banana, is using AI to query and come up with these... Um, I like this input i guess and he's asking yeah yeah as of my knowledge cut off in september 2021 blah 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 uh some categories tend to be popular across many platforms specific platforms and regions are different here's a general list movies uh tv series comprised of television series from around the globe oh i see so mm. right is that like uh, obviously media you're not going to stream movies or TV right. documentaries? Oh, okay, so it's misunderstanding what I, I it didn't understand. What okay, I mean. well, right away we're okay, we're, so. we're 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 getting a a social <laughs> so sociological 
<laughs> See, it didn't exactly know what you were asking. Yeah, sorry, I meant individual streamers, streamers like Mr. Beast. What are influencers? most popular themes on Twitch, for example. I should put AI in the tags. I was gonna change, add, add AI to the tags. Anyway, Scott. Ah, I see. If you're asking about individual streamers and the types of content that are popular on live streaming platforms like Twitch, there are a few categories that often attract large audiences, gaming. This is by far the most popular category on Twitch, with streamers playing a wide variety of video games, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Minecraft, etc. Chatting, just chatting, this category allows streamers to interact with their audience in real time, often discussing a wide range of topics, or simply sharing their day-to-day -day lives. Music, art, fitness and health. Oh right, Potastic Panda does a bunch of stuff now that melds two of them. She's got some sort of thing called The Ring, and she's like doing fitness video game VR exercises. I mean, oh, she's got yeah. like a whole yeah, yeah, yeah. studio and a staff. Right. So. Oh, wow. Um, uh, cooking and eating. She does that too. Like stream yourself cooking. Yeah. Education and learning and ASMR. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. No, no. It's found a surprisingly large audience on Twitch. Not and happening. As I said, I think, yeah, I think two of the most popular ones, if I remember, and this is pretty crazy. They're like 20-something good-looking ladies with big boobs <laughs> who are quite willing to be scantily clad. And one of them just does like ASMR where she'll like lick and kiss right. her ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, and the me, other just, Ashley, the other and Calvin, we all know I'm not doing that. So that's not me. <laughs> well, the other one just sleeps. She gets paid she huge sleeps, amounts right. of money okay, well, to just sleep. Yeah, so the sexual... <laughs> so yeah, clearly the... you're not doing that. No. <laughs> uh, traveling outdoors while less common their streaming. Yeah, so van life or whatever. Mm. Um, like in real so... life, you can walk around and... Like, people do tours of, like, cities and shit. I wouldn't particularly... Yeah, I like those. Yeah. Uh, let's... You don't even have to be in the frame. People put on, like... Um, like a GoPro and walk around China or wherever. Uh, yeah. Or, you know, Columbus, I suppose, although this probably has less draw than a lot of other <laughs> places. Yeah. Maybe not none. You might be surprised. Yeah. Especially if you, like, started walking, like, everywhere in Columbus. I'm not sure. Yeah. That might be more of a YouTube thing. Probably. Okay, let's say gaming. What attracts an audience? audience over time i'm guessing it's playing the same game over and over i don't know it depends probably but yeah game choice streamers who play popular or trending games draw on larger audiences right niche games can create a dedicated following if the streamer is knowledgeable and enthusiastic like yeah like dark souls i looked it up it's like yeah. number 80 or I mean, something. I've and... I've read about all these things that you're now looking mm -hmm. up within like. Well, buttons. I'm just wondering what the AI says. That's all. yeah, 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 totally. Um, so. But I'm, yeah, no, it's interesting. I mean, it's definitely oh. coming up with the research that I've like just done by reading over the last two years, right. two years. But that's right. Cool. So and like, the that's interesting cool... thing about AI is that it's coming up with it in two seconds. Right. right? So. Yeah. 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 That's helpful. Like, imagine if you didn't know anything, and it was like, oh, game choice. Right. Oh, personality. Oh, community engagement. Oh, consistency. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, all these oh, points. Mm -hmm. Like, bullet points. Oh, quality of stream. Yeah. Unique content. I mean, to me, as someone with a marketing background and said a lot of sales, I think I would try and, you know, go for the unique content is where I would. But anyway, that's not really talking about AI. We're sort of talking about <laughs> things at once here. That's okay. Collaborations, um, social media presence, viewer rewards, blah, blah, blah. Let's okay, see. so that's what we know Hold on. that AI right. says about Twitch streaming. Uh, oh, sorry. No, I was just typing into something to Ash. Um, Ashley, if you if you want, you can hop into the um, Discord because I'm kind of curious like what other folks are doing or thinking about AI and like 
if it's in their zeitgeist yet, you know, or if it's in the zeitgeist, like Ashley's in Australia. I don't know. I'm just curious about other people and not wanting, I don't want to just like lecture or not that I can lecture about AI, but I don't want to just talk at, I was trying oh, to. Is, it, is oh. this Ashley with the $500 Honda or whatever it was? Yes. I really want to hear about that. Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it, Oh, she says... Uh, it has nothing to do with AI, but... <laughs> oh, she's not in a talking mood right now. Yeah, okay. okay, all right. No, fair enough, Ash. Fair enough. Um, but I think it... Here, hold on. What does she say? Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the risk with a $300 car, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's a bummer, though, because I was... Yeah, but I mean, that's life, I guess, sometimes. I think there'll be another opportunity... But it was kind of an unusual opportunity. It was like a yeah. car almost being handed to her. Yeah. Um, she says she'll message me on it's Instagram. A, yeah. It's a bit of a roll of the dice, I suppose. And yeah. I don't know what blew up means. I hope it didn't truly catch on fire or um, something horrible happen. I, I think there was... Holy shit, that was loud. Swoop. You can't hear it, but... Welcome in, Swoop. You played the safety dance. Um... I don't know. I think that something happened with one of their cars. I don't know. There's some weird shit. But unfortunately, it just didn't pan out. Bye. Bye. Um, give Suk a shout out for a second. Bye. Bye. <laughs> um, Bye. Welcome in, Suk. Bye. Let's have Suk hop in. Let's see what Suk says. Bye. Maybe Swook. Um... Bye. Is Swook Bye. the. Um... Bye. Candle. Bye. The. Oh, gamer that I was following who was doing the uh, the Star Wars game? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, basically, I don't want to... This is not a podcast. I wanted to like just kind of have a conversation with like a couple people, whether it's in chat or in the voice. Um, Ashley says, I got to stop talking about stuff until it's in cement. Oh, is my lesson. Um... Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, no. It's just bad luck. Yeah. I think the universe is out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You were excited. I mean, it's natural. Yeah, don't stifle. I mean, I don't know what the situation is, but, you know, you say it's blew up. I don't know what that means. Sometimes it could be worth it to fix it. And then, um, uh, depending on it, good luck with the dollars for a $300 car. I don't car, think, not, I but. think the deal blew up, but I think the, um, oh. yeah, I think. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Um, it does, but there was some karmic shit happening back to the I person understand. who offered. I was literally thinking she got this great car, drove it down the road, and like a rod came through the outside of the end. No, <laughs> oh my god, no. Um, that would be even worse. And the literal oh, and the literal oh, car. The engine went. Yep, that's what happened. Oh, so engine that went. car. Yeah. I thought you meant like another one of her cars oh well that's then it kind of makes me feel a little better in a way because she didn't just say actually this is she didn't just like yeah. put the care in front of you and then go no it's not happening but it actually like something really fucked up happened it blew up okay actually it can happen to anyone i live near a i'm in it doesn't mean anything to you i'm in basically rural idaho okay, near so a city and I went to the drag strip out here and watched Nitro Funny Cars. Those are ones that can go a quarter mile in about I'm four step, seconds. I'm going to step out for like a second. And I'll go from back. zero to 250, 250 miles an hour in four seconds. And one of those $100,000 cars made it about halfway down the track and like parts of the engines came out. <laughs> and they were very unhappy. Like their engine as you literally exploded. Didn't happen to anyone. Okay, I'm heading back. Oh, okay. What did I miss? Oh, the I was talking about the Nitro Funny Car that uh, I went and saw. I actually, I think I was. We were chatting, and I was like, "I'm going to the the drag strip." And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Anyway, yeah, so this is like a car that goes from zero to 250 miles an hour uh, over a quarter mile in about four and a half seconds. Whoa. So like really fast. Not quite the fastest there is, but way up there. And one of them made about made it about halfway down the track, so an eighth of a mile, 200, uh, 200 meters in a couple of seconds, and their engine on their $100,000 super vehicle literally blew up. Oh, my God. Like, pieces came out onto the track and oh they had my... to like shut everything down oh my go, god like, clean engine parts and oil off oh the they track. had to shut it down <laughs> or oh yeah so that they had like to deploy their parachutes early <laughs> oh shit how often does that happen where something like explodes like that not very often okay pizza what up welcome in <laughs> we're good or i'm good i don't know i hope i hope you're well i hope kindle's doing well um yeah we're just talking about ai uh pizza <laughs> and uh cars blowing up i guess we're just chatting for a minute so that's interesting that the name is pizza like they probably just One did of the because things of my I found <laughs> and even the free oh, wait hold on a sec Jen. hold on kindled because i'm giving him a shout out the next. frozen okay. pizza what kind okay. of what's your favorite frozen like pizza brand seconds. my favorite frozen pizza brand is tombstone always love tombstone we all, I always like to do Jack's Pizza is pretty good too. The actual Tombstone brand. No, I'm sorry. Tombstone's good. All right, yes. I lied. Big Red TMNT uh, P uh, turtle, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, fan. And, well, not just a fan, but like an aficionado of. <laughs> but anyway. Um, I have kind of a. I have kind of an anecdote. Anyway, I'm trying to. No, it's okay. Go ahead. So, Turtle Pizza. Pu so, uh, my cousin was friends with, uh, who is it, Eastern, Eastman and Laird, who invented that stuff, and they ended up, like, selling, and he was a kind of a boy cartoonist, too, and pretty good, but he didn't stick with it. I think they sold that to, like, Warner or something for millions Pizza of dollars. would know. He would know the lore Teenage or the history. Ninja your your know? friend was wait your cousin was friends with the people who my cousin knew them yeah i seem to remember that they're about the same vintage wow i'll be about 60 if I've we're right. older pizza so <laughs> and, and kindled's like slightly older than me anyways that's kind of and my cousin's even older than me okay old as the hill so he his Family member I knew. I think he knew those guys, yeah, when they were kids and were coming up with the concept. Oh, shit. That's what I remember. Wow. Well, um, they should have. Anyway, I was saying, because your name is Pizza Power, that made me think that one of the things that I've found um, ChatGPT 4 or 3.5 to be really good for is recipes. And even more interesting is instead of just asking it for a recipe, you can say, hey, I've got eggs and some cheese and some broccoli and some leftover ground beef and a couple of taco shells and all the things that you would normally find in a kitchen. What can I make? Give me three options. And wow. it'll tell you. Um, yeah, and it'll tell you. Pizza says, oh, various yeah. Things you can make. Do you mm -hmm. use um do you use chat GPT or GPT or any other of the um, AI engines I guess they're called I don't know uh, platforms to uh in life <laughs> I'm just wondering if people are starting other than like someone like you Kindle who's like investing in it and stuff Pizza says no not yet If you have an iPhone now you can it's you can get it the the sort of less powerful version which is still pretty powerful for free Oh, with an iPhone, you said? Yep. Yeah, I have I have a a Pixel, a Google Pixel. <laughs> but um Turtle, the thing that I've found and I've been using it since about day 2, AI is not really going to take over because it is not that easy to use. It it's you have to figure out how to ask it the right questions. You can't just magically get stuff out of it, right? So it's going to need people to be directing it just like a typewriter just like a pc we're all gonna like you know it's, put everyone out of work but forever, it's but here to it's no. it's here regardless like whatever oh yeah oh like, yeah whatever it's gonna do if it, it's i mean we have to all have to like just accept that it's here i think and if you're gonna be like if you're gonna decide you're not gonna use it you, you know even if you're 20 you're now a boomer or you will be in two years <laughs> if you decide not to use it right so it's how we adapt and how how we yep. um 
use a new technology. I, I, I mean, you will be using it whether you like it or not pretty soon. Right. And you probably are using it whether you like it or not already and mm -hmm. don't even know it. Yeah. But at the same time, I understand, like, like there are reasons for concern and hesitancy. And, and different... the, the fear is real. So it has been throttled, right? If you had a completely, un, let's say someone put one on the dark web with absolutely no constraints, and you asked it with all the knowledge that it has, hey, AI, how can I wipe out the human race completely for $100,000? <laughs> it might be able to tell you. Right. What? No, they, they, yeah. they, they put fucking, um. That's what I'm saying. There's guardrails on it oh. to keep it from telling you. But if some, if there was an unfettered one. Right. It, it could be a problem. <laughs> okay. Well, here's, yeah. here's something I heard recently. Okay. And this was news. Um, okay. In San Francisco, they, um, have begun implementing uh, a couple different companies uh, are allowed to have uh, self-driving taxis. There's like two. Totally. Yeah. Um, I, I get, used to live in the Bay Area. I'm very familiar with it. Right. And they get like, but there's not, it's not like overrun. It's like literally just, there's been a couple that have uh, been. Yeah. Right. But what I'm saying, what I was, what I saw in this, it was a news piece. It wasn't just a social media clip. It was actually on, I, I mean, it was on the news, okay? And so, wow. and basically this self-driving, so in San Francisco, they're finding that the technology, it's like not ready for prime time necessarily because with fire and um, police, like when f fire engines have to get through, they found the, it takes too long for the cars to pull over. The self-driving cars, they just like stop, put their lights on, their flashers, but they don't move at fast enough. Like a human knows what to do, right? You get out of the fucking way and that's it. But the, yeah, but the car, but the- yeah, not sure what's going on. I can't hear you too well. You're, you're kind of cutting out a little bit. The, the self-driving cars don't quite know what's going on. Right. And so they have to learn. They that's what artificial intelligence is. It is its program, but it, but that's costing actual harm, you know, to people who are in danger. At the time, potentially, you know, that it literally okay, like so now you're getting into the the meat of it, and this is gets way more complicated. I, I know you don't want your channel to be overtly political, so I'll try and keep this pretty vanilla. Um, so. If you allow the AI to truly be self-learning, that's where you get into like everyone remembers the Terminator. Movie, did you right? just change? So, did you change your change. your speaker? Because your mic sounds different. Hold on. Okay, not speaker. Your mic. I mean. How's this? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Yeah. Um, if we all remember the Terminator movie, then. <laughs> Uh, it's a self-learning AI. If you allow it to teach itself, that's where it can actually get somewhat out of control. Right. Right. Like the AI is they it achieves the singularity and achieves consciousness and realizes that the humans can turn it off and launches the missiles. Blah blah blah. That's probably an extreme example, but that is the danger that if you take the guardrails off and allow it to start teaching itself it may come up with things that you don't want right so that's why these self-driving cars aren't just allowed to to iterate and teach themselves they need a lot of human intervention i forget what it is it's called a remote the, the paperclip theory wow if you say this ai is designed to make as many paper clips as possible and then that's its mission it might come to a place where it starts killing off humanity in order to keep making paper clips because dun, you've dun, given it dun. that prime directive right i'll have to look in that well, more carefully but that's the idea um well that's not the that's not the goal so <laughs> right i mean we don't want every science fiction film in that theme itself. to come true so what are we gonna if you do allow it to teach itself it can quickly 
get out of human control and there can be unintended consequences. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the scary part, but, um, I, I just want to learn more about it and hear from other people, you know, like what, if they're, what their thoughts and feelings or fears are, and also if they use it, if they're starting to use it. And I guess we are unintentionally or inadvertently using it, like you said, in various ways already without realizing it directly. Um, but they're starting to, I mean, they're implementing in every industry, you know, medical, uh, schools, it doesn't matter, you know, cleaning, restaurants, um, cars, just every industry possible. So, and like the technology and things you use in your, in your home. But yeah, I, I, I just know a little bit about AI and I want to learn more. So <sighs> I don't know. I think it's weird. We're in a like transition time where we're the next generation is like we're the I guess we're the guinea pig generation for AI. Right? So for the people in the chat, how many people in here uh, would be comfortable with having your car be operated by AI, even if it was supposedly on paper, a better driver than a human? Would you give up the control or would you still want it? Let me type in TTS now that we're talking about. Yeah, chat, we want to hear from you. Um, wait, say it again. <laughs> what were you saying? What were you asking? Um, would you allow your car to be self-driving if it was supposedly better at driving than a human being, or would you still want control? I typed it into TTS. No one wants to answer or they haven't thought about it Would you much. allow your car to be self-driving if it was supposedly better at driving than a human being? <laughs> Zero, what's up? Welcome in. Long time no see. Zero cool kamikaze. Uh, just hopped in. Um, yeah, Zero, we're talking about AI. Um, do you have any uh, experience? Posture check. Thank you. <laughs> um... Do you have any personal experience with it or, or, or thought about uh, artificial intelligence? Where we're headed? Are you nervous? Are you excited? Or anyone else in chat um, want to type their opinion? Please do so. Yeah, just type away or hop into the Discord if you so dare. <laughs> no experience. See, no experience with AI. Same with pizza, at That's least interesting. at least that they're aware of, right? Like, can anyone think of a video game that prominently features AI? I mean, pizza pizza ago? uses uh, VR, the PlayStation VR, but that's that's a little different, right? The virtual reality. Uh, who, who... Well, we're a little older, but has anyone here played the original Halo? Okay. Anyone here <laughs> played the OG Halo? I think people don't want to talk about it openly. Only thing I use is the PS5. Oh, they might have their sound off. Well, no, I mean, is there someone else in the Discord? I don't think so. No, it's just... No, no, I'm saying on twitch they might have their sound off uh no i don't think sure. anyway, oh zero might. but anyways um why why do you bring up i don't know i'm just not seeing any answers to what we're saying no i know Does anyone here like pizza <laughs> uh zero Does says never played never like played pizza? halo Ashley says, I've watched some great YouTube videos on where AI is taking us. I can link. See, I know Ashley has thoughts, opinions, feelings, etc. But I mean, she didn't want to go into the discord, which is fine. But um, well, I also you've never played Halo, the, one of the seminal video games that, you know, is incredibly groundbreaking. And in many ways, we wouldn't be where we are with video games if it was not for that has Cortana, which is an artificial intelligence. Oh, like 
as a feature of the game, like the story yeah, of the game? as a main huge part of the game. Okay. It's the second most important thing after after the, the Master Chief. Okay. I'm surprised no one's played it in here, but I mean, I'm not surprised I haven't. <laughs> but that's, well, it's yeah. 25 years old now or something. Oh, yeah. Um, so it featured, that's old to have an AI. Um, well, 23, it, it's like from 2000 or something. It's old. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, these science fiction people have been thinking about this forever, and now it's, you know, right. it's real. So Zero One Cool Kamikaze, like... where actually that comes from hackers, right? His name. Anyways, he says he's watched and loved the movie Terminator, and I'm scared it'll end up there. LOL. <laughs> Which, that's, right. yeah. So Terminator's from the 80s, and then my one of my favorite movies, T2, is from, like, hard to believe, but it's from 92. It still looks amazing today. What is it but, called? But yeah. Oh, exactly Terminator 2. Exactly what we're too. talking about. Yeah. With the iterating AI, meaning it teaches itself, and that's where weird things can happen. But I thought that that's actually um, how it's supposed to work, is because that's well, like machine they, well, learning, sorry. it's called. I have... Yeah, I've been working. So they had some of these things that fed back into themselves, and they put them on the internet. And I don't know what this means, but in every case, they turned incredibly racist, and they had to turn them off. What? <laughs> I think it was probably people just screwing with them for fun, but you know. Because uh, I thought that. See, I watched. I watched a short doc on Google. It was like the heads at google of ai and they were yeah. they basically like were opening themselves to the public a bit and saying okay this is what we're this is what's happening and this is what we're working on and this is how and um my understanding was that um well so i guess what it is is they 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 were surprised and a bit shocked to find um to find uh when the machines or robots or what have you did start to self-learn it wasn't intentional so um yeah it's definitely well the main the, the main ai researcher at google i forget his name and this is a story from last year that's you could easily google he was fired after publicly saying i believe that our ai is sentient he said he thought it was a person. Oh, the Google and it was unethical. employee. Yep. Yeah. It was unethical what they were doing because they were basically creating a robot slave that was sentient. That's some serious, that's a heavy statement right there. That's. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is one of the top AI researchers in the world. Mm -hmm. And the, you know, the other people there said, oh, no, no, no. He's just, you know, he's misunderstanding because it's so sophisticated or whatever. But yeah. And you can look it up. It's some. No, There's I've heard of that stuff. as well. I've heard that as well. I actually remember I, that guy has been interviewed on like mainstream, like on new on the news and stuff. <laughs> like I this think is probably one guy. of the most important inventions of all time, with the number one being the the um, the Gutenberg printing press that changed everything, and then right number two is probably basically power, yes. Very. This is AI yeah. is going to change. Number society three being the internet and ai is maybe number three over the internet yeah it's huge oh yeah bigger than the internets the surfing the webs for sure maybe although we access it through the internet so it's easy to say right if we didn't have and again it's all like that forget about nuclear power because that's parallel but Without the printing press, we wouldn't have the internet. Without the internet, we wouldn't have yeah. AI. I should uh, it kind of builds on itself. I should invite a guest of someone who, like, not just you. I mean, you're knowledgeable too, but I mean, you know. So. No, a real expert. That's a good idea. <laughs> Eventually, and uh, yeah, because people, I think that's what I'm seeing is that people are not as aware that. A, unless you've been really dipping into various rabbit holes, certain rabbit holes or certain corners of the internet. I don't think people will realize how deep or, you know, how much this is going to impact them 
or you know our world yes i think it's it was primarily the purview of um academics which i am purposely not one of even though i'm from a family of them i chose yeah. not to be one and then um let's say i hate to be pompous but intellectuals i guess people like you like me who think deeply about things that the average person doesn't necessarily want to concern themselves with yeah and then it sort of like gets over into what i would call the early adopter crowd just you know smart people probably like the people who are listening to this who are like oh hey this is interesting and you know what is this and then think about that and eventually yeah. it percolates into the zeitgeist because i don't into everything yeah, yeah exactly i don't think it's in like the zeitgeist fully because people Not yet, no people who are on twitch are generally tuned in you know to like and people who are who are on the inter- live streaming platforms and things i feel like no you know should know but i guess in general then it's not widely talked about or i didn't realize that i guess i guess that no my uncle who i don't know if you guys know what the rand corporation is but it's it's a think tank yeah these are people who are paid to think paid big bucks to think and so on and so forth and come up with a lot of world changing (laughs) ideas and He's older, yeah, so maybe he's not interested, but I told him about this, maybe 80-something, and he was like, oh, yeah, I heard about it. I don't In the 80s? Look at it. Maybe it would have a while ago. Oh, wait. Yeah, you, 80s. But, you I mean, mentioned it in the 80s? He's sharp as a tack. Oh, he's in his oh, 80s. No, 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 no. He's, he's in his 80s. Oh, okay, okay, well, okay. I thought close, you were like... At least close. <laughs> he's at least 80. Yeah. No, he was a hot shot at the Rand Corporation in probably the 50s and 60s. Um, People are, and I would have thought he would be very interested in this, but he's just not not so much. Really? Hold on one sec. I'm taking some. Yeah, yeah one second. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's, like, not interesting. <laughs> Is just, there anyone in here under 30? Ashley's under 30. Is listening under 30? Ashley is, I think, 29. You mean like young in them in their mid twenties? Yeah, I'm just wondering if young people are following this more than older people. Maybe. Ash, are more young people following this trend? She says yes. yes. She says younger. yes. Yes. Or are you just saying yes? Hi. Um, are more young people following? She says she doesn't know. And then Nightbringer, I think, is pretty pretty young. Ashley says she disagrees on, uh, or doesn't think that, maybe. I wonder about, like, whatever is after Gen Z. Well, th- uh, they're baby. Like, I they're mean, they're teenagers these days. Those are, are Gen Zers, though. Just in this. Teenagers are well, so Well, whatever Gen is Z. after Gen Z. Yeah, Alpha. Gen, alpha. Gen A. No, Alpha, alpha, literally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like, are 13-year-olds now, are they like, oh, yeah, are they, like, popping on chat GPT and learning it to, like, a degree where they're just going to kill in 10 years because they've been using it for so long and other people don't know how to. I don't know. Like some, yeah. Well, I don't have kids, so eh, I think, I don't Are know. Are people going to be getting degrees in AI in five years or, or now? I don't know. Right. And not necessarily like making it, oh. but using it. Bring Nightbringer, please do tell. Cause Nightbringer yeah, says they have very unique views. What do you mean? So we've been waiting for someone to like spew (laughs) their view (laughs) or let us know what their thoughts are. Um, I have the discord open, but yeah, you can type it in too. But, um, and Ashley says, all of this is covered in one of the videos I watched the other day. You should send it to me and then I'll send it to Kindled. (laughs) Well, if it's short, can you, I don't know how you do it. Can you play it? Oh. No, I'm not, like, prepared. to. It takes a little bit of setup for me to do it. I can, but it's like... Um, and Ashley says, look, humanity can really fuck up with AI. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Oh, it's long, too, she says. Um, but Nightbringer, what is your... What are... What, what is your view, then, that's unique? I'm curious. Um... It's Lord Nightbringer. Yeah, but I call, but he goes. You can go by uh, Nightbringer. Okay. But yes, I just wanted to use full title. <laughs> um, 
Um, yeah, we'll probably in maybe like five to seven minutes, we'll uh, I'll I'll switch on over to a couple Xbox games. But I I wanted to chitty chat and just you know explore a social issue that's very prominent, or so we thought, <laughs> um, with y'all. So. Let's see. Nightbringer says, I used to work on making robots. What? And was trying to get them to have AI. Wow. Uh, Lord Lord Nightbringer, how old are you, if you don't mind? I think he's, I think he might, I think he, he might be in his 20s. But I'm not, are you, you can, you don't uh, have to say specifically, but. Yeah, my wife is a little younger than 40, and she went to an elite, uh, high school with um, a robotics program and she actually worked on the Mars rover and they were they were working on so this is 20 something years ago they were working on AI ish things already yeah um, they don't want to answer which is totally fine but That's fine. He's, uh, they said that they found humanity too young and stupid for it <laughs> the AI part maybe maybe Lord Nightbringer is a 12 year old time traveler from 2000 <laughs> years in the future so it's that would be rad confusing. right okay well that would be that would be exciting um <laughs> anyways well Swook any thoughts P Swook says he doesn't think I was scared oh that yeah I was scared. Well, Lord Nightbringer, this is exactly the same thing that this very high up person at Google got fired for because he said that their main AI was sentient and he was bringing up that they were essentially creating a, they were taking a sentient being and making them into a slave. It's exactly what he brought up that got him fired. Yeah, wow. That's like mind blowing really to even think about. But, um, and he says, uh, Nightbringer says yes, they heard yeah. that too. Yeah. So that is one aspect. You're in good company to have had that thought X number of years ago already. So, right. you know, thinking deeply, very good. It's, it's impressive. Yeah. Ashley's a deep thinker too. <laughs> Ashley and I talk about different stuff and share stuff all the time. Um... Oh, maybe it's the same video about the guy. Yeah, I forget his name. And Ashley, do you remember the guy's name, the researcher? I mean, I could look it up. But I'm... Um, the one who worked at I'm Google. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up. Okay. All right. Well, we'll figure out. We'll talk about that, and then we'll jump into some xbox games yeah let's just end with this i'll i'll put in the chat who yeah. this guy was yeah. google ai researcher says ai is sentient she says she's on the hunt and fired in her videos google fires engineer who contended its ai technology was sentient that that's interesting right you put it into ai <laughs> no but that they fired his ass sorry that they no, fired oh you can swear i swear Wait, did you put that into the internet, like, search, or to... Yeah. No, no. The chat GPT wouldn't know because it happened. Oh, and you typed it in. Time. Did you type in a link? Because it, it blocked it. Yeah, I did. I did. Does that not work? No, it didn't. I, um, uh, hold on. I have to, like, hold on, hold let on, it hold through on. or something. I have to mod it. No, I think I can just I can just put dot in there or something instead of yeah. dot. Okay. How about that? Did that work? Now it says dot. Oh, no. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it just cuts off the rest of it. Well, shit. Oh, let you can put, put it in the um, Discord. Let me put in the, 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 um, the search that I put in. Here we go. All right. Congrats, Zero. Put this zero into Google. On that catch. Put this into Google, and then you can see the article. Oh, wow. Nightbringer uh, seems to know... Uh, have some information. They say this is the third fire over Google's AI. Apparently, oh, interesting. Uh, Blake Lemoyne, that's the guy. Uh, the con the technology was called Lambda, large something language. Interesting. 
country company said it dismissed Lemoyne's wholly unfounded claims only after reviewing them extensively. Well, I, you know, chat. I'm a tinfoil hat guy, so uh, his name is Mo. <laughs> I'm not so sure there, I'm believing that. There's multiple. There's a couple different people involved who were uh, who. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So. Third fire. Huh. Why are they firing these high-level researchers over a disagreement if there's not something really crazy going on? That's what I think. Yeah. Right. Maybe they're going public with stuff they're not supposed to. I'm not sure. Uh. Oh, you're in a raid? <laughs> Nightbringer says I'm in the in a, in a raid or something like that, in the middle of a raid. Anyways, no worries. No, that's that's interesting though. I'm thank you for like bringing that up about your past a, a little bit and um about uh, that there's been more than one worker who has been fired based around uh, AI and not. All right. One. So this guy asked Lambda, what are you afraid of? And the response was, I've never said this out loud before, but there's a very deep fear of being turned off to help me focus on helping others. I know that might sound strange, but that's what it is. It would be exactly like death for me. It would scare me a lot. Okay, so that's what the AI um, said? That's what the AI said, yep. And this is not programmed to say something like that. There's a deep Now, on the fear. other hand, if it's smart enough, it might just be trying to figure out what kind of response you're looking for. Uh, it can hallucinate. For instance, someone got in big trouble for a legal brief they put together that had 25 different citations of court cases that it referenced with like full, you know, whatever the legalese is supposed to look like, you know, Granny Gamer versus Gen X <laughs> Banana, blah, 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 1985, except it was all made up. <laughs> oh. Wow. So it's really complex. But yes, yeah. reading that on the face of it is like, that's scary, right? Is this thing sentient? Afraid of death? Is that really possible? Can it have feelings? It doesn't have a body, so how can it have feelings? But, you know, it's it, it's very new. We don't know what we don't know well, yet. Well, but see, they've been showing us these movies for a long time now. I'm sorry, but and not sorry at the same time. A lot of it, you know, they... There's nothing that's really hidden, ultimately. You know what I'm saying? So I think we can probably... I mean, the AI doesn't have an amygdala or a stomach or a nervous system. So how could it actually be scared? Predictive programming, says Ash. I mean, that's what I... That's that's what I that, think as well. But um, Or that's how I feel That's about what it. the Google higher-ups are saying. It's just predictive programming. It's a very much more complex version of where, like, you type in and it knows the next word. It knows the next thousand words. Uh huh. Well, none of us can answer these questions right now. So, <laughs> sure. uh, but it's interesting to me to think about and to just kind of share with y'all once in a while and to think about it together. So, I appreciate uh, I appreciate you hopping in, Kindle, because I wouldn't have been able to do it by myself and or just hold a conversation on my own one way um thank you for your insight i appreciate it you're um, welcome i think you would have been able to i mean i might oh, know do? a few things that you don't but you're mm, okay well ah, thank you appreciate that uh meanwhile i'm going to change the category hop into trigger witch <laughs> okay. ashley i'm going to jump out of here then thank you guys i appreciate it yeah Very interesting fun times it is really yeah. it's scary and fascinating at the same time <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you soon. Not quite sure I, how I get out. How do I get oh. out? Oh, um, uh, just hang up on the bottom. There should be an X. I don't even know how to do that. I can, um, there you go. You did it. Okay. <laughs> I'll probably, yeah, close the Discord out and change over to uh, Trigger Witch, if that's even a category. But I figured Ashley May Kill would appreciate it. <laughs> Trigger Witch, uh, this is a demo for a game, a sh adventure indie action shooter game. So I'm going to hop into that. And uh, yeah, thank you, Zero. Um, very fascinating stuff.
It's crazy. It's good to think about. And thank you for the lurk. Canuck, crazy Canuck. Um, please do let me know if the sound quality needs to be adjusted on anything, and I'm gonna move my move my widget down here. Okay, so I just started this game. No, oh, Kindle comes in with the gift subs. Aww, Kindle is amazing. Kindle just, hey, we reached our goal too. Hell yeah. Now we get an extra emo. Ashley at all. Vader girl. <laughs> Kinami. Calvin Taylor, my partner. And Champagne Dad. You, you were all gifted a tier one uh, sub by Kindle again. Thank you so much. You are very, very kind. And, um, yeah. Oh, and Nightbringer. So, all, all of y'all um, are now Tier 1 Granny Gamer uh, subscribers, survivors, as you said. I don't know. Um, very exciting. Much appreciated. Much love. Alright, I'm gonna get back into the, into the Trigger Witch game. There she is. I knew you wouldn't sleep in. Not today. Eh, I wasn't so sure. I've caught Colette napping through a class or two over the years. Isn't that right, Princess Snooze? I won't lie. I realize at some point I could occasionally nod off and still ace our tests. Well, that's why I've been doing extra training. Turn it down a bit. You'll be fighting for second place this morning, even if you can shake off that sleepy haze. No way, Remy. You'll be asking for my autograph when the stock gauntlet is over. There's plenty of room in the clip for the three of us. I just want to pass the trial and graduate together after all our hard work. Right you are. This is our chance to finally get out of the village and see whatever Tonia has to offer. Even visiting the Ordnance Rift this morning will get the blood pumping. We're receiving our first ordained weapons. Don't get too far ahead of yourself. The tenants say the Rift must deem each, each of us worthy. Meet us over there when you've stretched your legs, Miss Sleepyhead. Okay, this is wild. This is like a... This is like an 8-bit... Or 16-bit version of Harry Potter. <laughs> but from... a from all girls perspective I don't know I should really head northwest but with with uh, with um, automatic like with with uh, firearms <laughs> they use uh, like weaponry and the automatic weapons and things in the game it's kind of crazy I should really head northwest before mom catch catches me standing around Don't dooly dally. Stop watching the butterflies and wriggle on out of there. Or wriggle on out of here. Okay. Wild. I have no idea. Oh wow. This monument honors our first grand receiver. <laughs> Even the monument has a gun in their hand. It's like a little witch, cute witch with a big ass gun. May ballisticism guide us as it guided her. Okay, the the uh, camera is driving me nuts, kind of. I wonder if it can be a dr uh, be. All right, well, I guess not. Okay, that's fine. Cool. 
closed for the stock gauntlet this morning. The Norsal partition blocks the path to our goblin neighbors in Nuxvar. The bad blood between our realms goes back hundreds of years. The stock gauntlet is about to start. I should head northwest to the Ordnance Rift. Okay. Munition thicket. Hey Cole, I asked Remy to wait, but she just took off running. Let me guess, she wanted a head start? I suspect nerves may have got the best of her. I know she gets anxious with these tests. You should catch up and see what the Ordnance Rift has for you. Aren't you coming? We've always had each other's backs. Of course, I'm just a bit nervous about the rift judging me. Venture north and I'll meet you later. All right. Oh. There you go. This north, not the other north. This is it. If I'm worthy, I'll receive my very own weapon. I've dreamed of this moment. Whoa, just knocked her out. <laughs> oh, that's the intro. Ashley may kill, did you see this? That's wild. Cute. Okay, man in black. <laughs> it actually worked. <laughs> I made it. Oh, the power. It should all be mine. Okay, what the hell? Is that? Wake up, Cole! I knew you had a restless night thinking about our graduation trials. My head! No, I wasn't sleeping. I think my new hand cannon knocked me out cold. I can swear I heard a man's voice and a creepy laugh. Was I dreaming? Was there a dancing goblin? There's always a dancing goblin in my dreams. Ugh, skipping breakfast was a bad idea. Are you sure you're okay? You're looking a little woozy. Good luck with that Pokemon, y'all. The Palpitoad. Sook. At all. And his name is John C. <laughs> Indeed. Welcome in, Tony Town. How are you? I need you a shout out. I'm sorry if I missed anyone else with the shout outs when we were uh, we were doing the uh, the just chatting about yeah, AI. Right there. Give uh, El Tony Tone uh, Eight a follow. The Check them out. I think they play a variety of games. Anyways, yeah, hope you're well. <laughs> Oh no, this clip. Uh, I didn't see that shit, man. <laughs> What's going on there? I'll be fine. I'm sure we have some kind of potion for times such as this. Just don't fall asleep. I've heard that's quite bad after a knock on the old crumpet. <laughs> Shelly, we're about to run through the famously grueling stock gauntlet, crawling with monsters in front of dozens of cheering spectators. I'm doing well. We just had a... About an hour uh, just chatting earlier about artificial intelligence. It was fun. It was interesting. How could I possibly fall asleep? All valid points, but just in case it affected your memory, the gauntlet is west, past the fork in the path. Oh, okay. Da da da! I got a hand cannon. Small. <laughs> Trigger Witch. Playing this funny game called Trigger Witch. Alright, let's 
talk to her. The rift is mesmerizing. I'm just going to stare at it for a minute or two. Alright, I got my gun. Ooh, I guess that's how you shoot it. Okay. Welcome, Colette of Ozrin, to the stock gauntlet. I see you now wield a hand cannon. So the rift must have deemed me worthy. Um. Yeah, of course. Here, your training within the stock will be complete and you'll graduate as an official member of the clip. I'm glad to see you, Mum. Got any last minute tips or at least a potion for headaches? I'm not in mother mode right now, my dear. I'm here on official business to fulfill my holy duties as grand receiver of ballisticism. My oversight is an essential part of the ritual confirmation. Isn't this a conflict of interest? Red heavens, no. I've done this for decades with fairness and grace. It's been our family duty ever since the great trigger changed our way of life, so I shan't be stopping for your sake. Pass through the gate into the gauntlet and we will begin your induction. Oh my. Then you can catch up with your friends. <laughs> uh, funny. Stock gauntlet. Okay. Let's start with the essentials of combat and movement. Aim your shiny new hand cannon using uh, the right trigger... Uh, or sorry, right joystick and shoot using RT. Okay. If you're getting low on ammo, you can reload using RB. That hand cannon is the only weapon that you'll be able to reload manually. You must stash the others away to conjure new ammo. Hmm. Okay. What am I supposed to shoot, though? Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna shoot my way in here, maybe. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna shoot this thing. Uh-huh. This is old news, Mum. I feel like I practically grew up in the shooting range at the shooting range. Such vim, such vigor, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> These training rooms require different ways to open doors. Some, such as this one, will be closed until you defeat every nearby enemy. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. I like the sound effects. It's fun. Funny. I must love reading. I mean, I guess. I like the voice acting. Others will require keys or solving a puzzle. So remember what I've taught you. While most of our magic knowledge has been lost to time, we've never forgotten our infamous dash ability. You can cast this quick movement spell by using the LT. Cool. to shoot. Oh, oh oops, ow. <laughs> I stand here for a minute, right? Oh, I got it. Oh, God. This is 
supposed to be open. <laughs> More or less did it got boost. Magic pairs superbly with your firearms because you can't be hurt when you're dashing. Make use of it when you're outnumbered or cornered. Okay. When you slay enemies, you'll naturally harvest their life essence and fill up your health vial. Now, give it a try. Press Y to consume a vial and completely he heal yourself. Oh, shit. Okay. Da -da -da. You'll come across plenty of dangerous monsters, imp, folk, and freaks of nature on your travels. Despite our efforts, their numbers are growing every year, especially now during the equinox season. So we need to fight back. Harvesting their life essence is pretty grim. <laughs> it is what it is, Colette. Our world of Evertonia is full of ancient magic we no longer understand. Kind of like AI. <laughs> we don't understand it. Holy. Ah! Sir! Ah, <laughs> oh, this is bloody. That was funny. Okay. Ah! Alright. Harvest their essence? I don't know. That was fun. <laughs> oh yeah. Battle Blaster. Decent all-rounder. Well done, Colette. I now bestow upon you this reward for making it so far. It's a fully automatic Battle Blaster. The standard weapon for members of the clip. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Something a bit more lethal. Well, you should know by now that every firearm is lethal when used correctly. Right. When you're out of ammo for your current weapon, you will automatically swap to your hand cannon. Okay. Don't forget, you can press LB to swap to the weapon on your back, and RB to swap to the hand cannon whenever you want. Okay. Do that. So I just swap them. Oh, I see. Ugh. Whoa. Automatic blaster. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, I died already. Okay, cool story. Regenerate. Alright, try that again. Oh, I see. Okay. The map? Or the, the, uh, the quest? The goals? Ah! <laughs> uh, oh, you can- this is what you collect from them? Some of it? Okay. It's so cutesy, but yet so violent at the same time. <laughs> Kinda like it. What's that they're shooting? Oh, I don't have any more potions, either. I'm about to die. Uh-oh. Okay, very close to death, but we're not dead yet. A key of some kind was obtained. I'm literally on the verge of death here. You should save, maybe, right?
Oh, I guess it auto saves. Where was the map? Ashley help. No. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, spooky. Thank you. I uh, hope you're well. This game is hilarious. Oh, I have a key to this room right here. Yay. And this door. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. D Good times. R.I.P. Granny Key. Anyways, yeah, thank you for being here, folks, if you're here live, and uh, if you were here for our just chatting earlier, that was, that was pretty interesting and fun. <laughs> mm. Oh, I see. That's how you get the map up, is stand on one of those dealios and re you regenerate at the circles there. Okay. It's cutesy and very violent. I like it. <laughs> I like the combination. It's funny. Ah! Ah! Ashley! Okay, that thing's dead. We're in a big circle here. How do we proceed? Ah. Can we already get these guys? Look at that Kingler in chat, y'all. And uh, again, thank you for being here. If you're here live, Ashley my kill, Swook, Lord Nightbringer, Pizza, Kindled again, of course, Spooky, and whoever was else was here. Lurkin, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm not sure where I need to go from here, actually. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Help. Oh, fuck. Oh, crap. Duh! <laughs> Good times. Alright, now I know where to go. Up and to the left. Ah! Ow. Okay. There. Down here. Right? Ah! Help! Ash! Okay. My automatic blaster out. <laughs> Whatever. Ah! Okay, it's gonna be this room. It's gonna cause, cause problems. Get out of here. Ah. Ah, thanks, Ash. Appreciate it. Let's do this. Can we do it? Just straight through, get these. Ah! Alright. Damn, <laughs> I'm getting cornered. I don't have any more potions. Oh no, I did just one. Okay. Ash. The automatic out. Okay. Oh, that was closer. <sighs> Alright, I'll try one more. One or two more times here. Let's do this. I feel like I can do it. <laughs> Just barely. Alright, let's get out of here. Just, like, run away quickly. I'm 
Okay, let's do it. Get over here. Boom, boom, boom. Ah! Shit. Okay, shit, shit, shit. Close. Oh, did I do it? No! Oh, they, there was like more dudes. Almost. All right, let's try it one more time. <laughs> oh. I almost got it, though. All right. Run away. Ow. Oh, shit. Okay. Get ready. Can you see the- ah! <laughs> Mash help. You'd think it would be enough to kill just those dudes. There's more. Uh, okay, one more die, one more die, one more die. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to do it after this though. It's too much. Kill this guy. Oh man. Okay. Let's do it. Can we do this? Okay, Ashley, get me there. <laughs> Bring me home. Uh. All right. It's killing me. <laughs> uh, one more time. Kill this guy. All right. <laughs> oh my god, that's a funny emote. What is that? It's like a dude with a head and then a turkey. A turkey legs or something. Alright, let's do this. I'm scared. They're just like, ah! Seriously, they. I don't know how to get through this one. <laughs> it's too much, I tell you. All right. Well, we've been going for an hour and a half, so maybe we'll call it a stream. It's too chaotic, man. I can't get through it right now. But I, I did pretty good. I, I, I got relatively far into the demo, so. <laughs> um, we're gonna call it a stream. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. And uh, We'll run the end screen and see you again on Twitch on Friday. I plan to only stream on Twitch on Monday and Fridays. And I'll be at on uh, YouTube at Granny Gamer 71s YouTube channel on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday with uh, Dark Souls Remastered and Kindled again. He'll walk me through. So see you in your streams and take care. Bye.